So as you know, we love us some monkeys. So now that we're in Zanzibar, we're gonna go to a place called the Jozani Forest, which they just have monkeys hanging out and living there. Crystal went there the other day, we're just walking by and saw monkeys just by the main road. So we're gonna take a tour inside and see what we can find. We are the culture trotters. In late February, we left the States with nothing more than carry on to become a full-time world traveling family. Three weeks in, COVID-19 shut down the world and changed everything. We had quite the adventure writing things out in Mexico. After seven months, we are finally ready for the next chapter. Click that subscribe button and join us as we continue our journey around the world and head across the ocean to the continent of Africa. In the words of Helen Keller, life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. In the Jazani Forest, they have a monkey that is native only to the island of Zanzibar. I think it's called a red, red something. Oh. What is it? What's the name of the monkey in the Jazani Forest? A red what? The red monkeys? Yeah. They're just called red monkeys? Yeah. Red. In the Jazani Forest, they have a monkey that is native only to Zanzibar. It's a red monkey, so we're excited to see this because it's the only place in the world we can see this monkey. Right now we're waiting for the Dala Dala, which are basically big vans, and they come by whenever, sometimes every five minutes, sometimes every 20. We talk a lot about how crowded the Dala Dalas are, but today was crazy. Every seat was taken, and there's about 10 to 12 people standing up in the middle. I had to get out of the van, just let people get back out and in and everything else. We made it, we're here, we're gonna go see some monkeys. On this path, we don't know where it goes, we don't know if we're supposed to go there or not. Could be end up being really cool, or could be Al Capone's vault, take two. We're gonna find out. Because Alejandro has a good feeling about this. Well, we made about 30 feet and some guide came out and said, you can't go this way, go that way. But on the 30 feet back, we found three or four monkeys. They came over the branches to say hi. So that was a good start. Okay, so what if we go down this path? Before we know it, we are surrounded by monkeys. Monkeys on the ground, monkeys in the trees and bushes, mommy monkeys, daddy monkeys, even little baby monkeys. Monkeys playing, climbing, eating, napping. Everywhere we look, there are monkeys, monkeys, monkeys. Alejandro has his own way with animals, while Arabella is like her father, waiting to get as close as possible in the hopes of snuggling every creature she meets, Alejandro always sets himself on the ground and lets the animals decide to come to him. He is never afraid of them, but lets them get to know him on their own terms. Robert takes a different approach than Alejandro. After our experience befriending spider monkeys in Mexico, Robert is convinced the monkeys in Zanzibar will be just as friendly and want to play with him. I got to touch two of them. 
just put your hand out and they'll come up and just sort of pat your hand and, and bat at it. I'm happy. Before we've even made it to where we were supposed to get a guide, we've seen dozens of monkeys and interacted with monkeys. So I'm not sure how much more spectacular this is supposed to get once we get a guide, but it's been pretty awesome not even paying the fee yet. <laughs> After 45 minutes, we finally make it from the gate to the ticket booth. Having children, that also means it's time for a snack. We grab the kids a quick chapati flatbread without thinking about the monkeys hanging around. Yep, we just turned our lovely children into living targets. Listen to Arabella scream as the monkey boldly steals her snack and then calmly eats it in front of her. We've been hanging out with the black Colobus monkey. Our tour guide takes us over to see the red Colobus monkey. The reds are special because the only place in the world you can find them is in Zanzibar. Turns out the reds are even more calm and friendly than the blacks were. And our guide explains how we can interact with them as long as we don't stress them out. <laughs> he didn't need to tell me twice. <laughs> Sometimes, I turn the video feed so the monkeys can see it. And this monkey was really interested in his own image. One behind you. Yes. <laughs> All right, so there's three parts of the tour. One is going to see the monkeys, two is just walking through the jungle, and three is going to see the mangroves. We've seen the monkeys, we've seen both types of monkeys, so I'm done. <laughs> What's your favorite part? Tell me that. Well, the monkeys to start, and these new berries that I collected. I think I'm using them to make a potion. At my least favorite part, the ants. You love ants. Not these kinds. You yell at me if I kill an ant. Or these, these are not really the, your your kind of average ant. When they bite you, you it stings and it kind of burns a little. My favorite part was when I got really close to the monkey and almost pet it. My favorite part was when Arabella got scared and threw her chapati because she thought the monkey was going to take her chapati. <laughs> I thought he was going to bite me. I thought he was going to bite me. I thought he was going to bite me because I was cornered. And you were cornered? Yes. There was nowhere to run unless I moved it, unless I flipped over the table. Apparently, mom's favorite part is Albert's least favorite part. So if you've seen any of our videos, you already know my favorite part. I get to play with monkeys. And I actually got to touch a couple, and they held my hand. You missed a few. One tried to grab my hand and held on tight and tried to bite me. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button to check out more of our videos as we travel around the world.